It's me great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker from local government. Mary Rimmer is leader of the St. Helens Labour Group and has been a councillor there for over 30 years. She will be known to many throughout the North West and the Merseyside for her advocacy and for her interest in housing issues in particular. Mary, please address conference. Good morning, conference. Comrades, I'm Mary Rimmer, leader of St. Helens Labour Group former leader of the council and now leading the opposition to a Lib Dem Tory coalition. A coalition not created out of a desire to make life better for people in St Helens, but one created solely and purely to deprive Labour of power. I've been around a while in local government. I'm mature, I'm experienced and I've got a tremendous passion for people. I was leader of St Helens Council under the last Tory government, and we should never forget how they decimated our towns and cities across Britain. Now let's look at them today. You've listened to my colleague Steve from Liverpool, absolutely transformed. Manchester, Birmingham, Newcastle, Glasgow, Cardiff, that's just to name a few. These cities have been reborn, rebuilt, regenerated under our Labour government. And let's be clear, it could have and would only have ever happened under a Labour government. And in St Helens too, we rebuilt. Some of you may know St Helens was a very proud coal mining and glass production town, employing tens of thousands of good, hard-working men and women. And we were taken to the edge of the abyss by the tourist policies. Mines closed, industry slowed, thousands of people left to fend for themselves. Yet despite the Tories, St Helens Labour fought hard to rebuild great services for our people, and rightly we received praise for them time after time. Despite being undermined and underfunded at every turn by the Tories in government, they didn't believe in localism, they didn't believe in funding councils to deliver quality services or in providing affordable housing. And they didn't believe in helping our most vulnerable people. And conference, you know and I know that they still don't believe in those things now. because we can see what they're like in power in our authorities across Britain. David Cameron says that Tory councils show what Conservative values are like in power. Does he mean like in Barnet? Were they working for the few, not the many? Were the Tories proposed using taxpayers' money to keep children in private schools? Or is it in Hammersmith and Fulham? where they're attacking social housing at a time when we need more housing more than ever. Conference, these are not my values or the values of the people I serve, nor those of the British people. Now you might wonder why, as an opposition leader, where the Lib Dems are in control, propped up by a handful of Tories, I haven't spoken about them at much length. Well, conference, anyone who bothered watching any of their conference last week, and after all, somebody must have done, <laughs> anyone who bothered watching it will know that incompetence speaks for itself. <laughs> Nick Clegg talks about making savage cuts, scrapping tax credits and universal child benefit. 
But then he says he can't pay for his policies. We've always said the Lib Dem sums don't add up, but now they're saying it themselves. And when David Cameron says that there isn't a cigarette paper between the Tories and Lib Dems, a conference, I can tell you, in St Helens, he is right. The Lib Dems are to the right of the Tories. Conference, we are working hard in St Helens to take back our council and to make sure St Helens returns Dave Watts and Sean Woodward, two excellent MPs at the general election. And as, as I said earlier, St Helens has been rebuilt following the Tory years of neglect and underfunding. St Helens is to have new schools, the first opened by Ed Balls last week as part of the 145 million committed by our Labour government through Building Schools for the Future programme. Truly providing 21st century schools, that's what a Labour government is about. St Helens has two brand new hospitals and a third nearing completion as part of a £300 million investment in our National Health Service. That's what a Labour government is about. St Helens has brand new rail stations as part of the Labour government investment in our transport infrastructure. That's what a Labour government is about. St Helens children are being given the best start in life through our 12 Sure Start centres. Comrades, that's what a Labour government is about. In conference, I could go on and on about St Helens. But the most important thing for Labour right now is to fight. Fight for the families in St Helens and across Britain. Fight for those who depend on Sure Start that the Tories would cut. Fight for the pensioners who depend on the winter fuel allowance, the pension tax credit and the pensioners bus pass, all introduced by our Labour government. <laughs> and let's fight for our children whose learning is being transformed through Labour government's investment in education. So, conference, I say to you all, and every party member, to our councillors, our ministers and our MPs, it's time to start fighting back for Britain, fighting for our people, fighting to win. And I know Labour and our Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, and I'm going to tell you, I love the man. I always have done. who have walked away and to those who continue to attempt to destabilise our party, enough is enough. It's time to get back and behind our leader, Gordon Brown. He is a truly incredible, intelligent and a man of great integrity. He is a leader recognised by the world. And let's get behind this great man and fight for the people that we came into politics to make a difference for. Comrades, comrades, this must be our mission. From now to the general election, our common purpose, a duty to the British people to stand up for what we believe in and to expose the shallow and fake Tories and to fight to win. United, together, we can and will win. <laughs> Comrades, I've never shied away from a fight and believe me, I'm gunning for this fight. It's a fight we will win together. Are you ready, comrades? Yeah. Well, get out there and fight for Britain.
Britain and its people. Marion, thank you to all councillors, past and present, for everything you have done and continue to do um, for Labour, for the communities you serve in, in, in circumstances which are sometimes difficult. Thank you again.